actually, you know, I didn't start that game. I was a backup uh, to Steve Wilson. He started, the, was the starting corner. But what it is, it's a God answered a prayer that I prayed mm. early in the week. I was a, I had just come to Denver. That was my first year there coming from my fifth year in the league with Tampa Bay. And I got released from Tampa Bay that that Monday on doing preseason. And Denver picked me up off a of waiver. So I got out there and I was trying to learn their system. And we, you know, we get into the playoffs and just said a prayer during the week. Hey, Lord, I sure would like to get in that game and make something happen. Well, the fourth quarter of that game, Steve Wilson caught a cramp in his calf. Couldn't go back in the game. And Joe called. I'm sitting on the sideline just, you know, it's cold in January. <laughs> I'm trying to stay warm. And he says, Jeremiah, yeah, you in the game. You know, like Mr. Brown, me? I'm in the game. <laughs> 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 and uh yeah but uh steve can't go back in so i go in the game they're driving down probably five minutes to go six you know six seven minutes so in there they drive down and they score a touchdown on me and webster slaughter catches a quick slant i was supposed to have help inside by the safety man you know how that go and, and <laughs> You sitting there, yeah. man, all your homeboys looking at you get beat on for a touchdown. And I'm like, man, it was, it was a really I had zero coverage with help inside, playing hard outside. It's amazing how you can still remember this stuff decades <laughs> later, plays in what was called. So they score, bring the game within one score to tie it. They kick the ball off to our offense. We don't do anything with it. They pump. <clears throat> We punt it back to them, and Bernie Kozar and Ernest Biner and mm -hmm. Kevin Mack show just big boom. Boy, they start driving. They driving. You know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, six-yard line, about a minute and 30 seconds to go. They, they get the ball on the six-yard line. They score. They can tie the game up. We go in the overtime or whatever, and they call the same defensive play. They call when I got beat. And, I, you know, my attitude, like, man, why did they call that play again? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want – I was mad they called that play. I'm like, man, what did they call this play for, man? That play – I got beat last time on that play. <laughs> and I'm lining up on Webster Slaughter again, the same receiver. <laughs> <clears throat> it's it's, uh, it's zero coverage. I got man, you know, pretty much all by myself. And I go up and I'm playing man bump on the six-yard line. And – I line up to run the play. And to be honest with you, Justin and Marvin, it's like God slowed time down. Wow. And in my thoughts, I'm like, man, last time you lined up like this, you got beat for a touchdown. Mm. Don't you think you need to do something different? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Right. I back, right. I back off of it. I backed off of him to in right in the end zone, just a hard five, six yard cushion. Anything quick, man, I can hit it, you know. And they 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 snap the ball, and Bernie gives it to Ernest Biner. So I'm I could see the play develop early on. It's a run. Instead of you know, if I'd have been in man bump, he would have ran me off. And so I beat uh, Webster Slaughter on his block, on the block where he was coming to block me. And Ernest and I meet on the two yard line. We on, I'm on two yard line. And if you ever seen Ernest Biner, you know, man, mm. that's a man right there, bro. He, he, is. He, he, he was toting it, you know. And we on two yard line. And again, it's like God slows time down. What you gonna do? I mean, all of this is boom, boom. But in my mind, I, it's, it's, it, it, it still amazes me to the day I had time to think what to do and so Ernest had ran over everybody on our defense in that second half he scored like three touchdowns just boom 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 and I'm like man dude I number one I don't want to even hit this big old fella <laughs> and, uh, and I'm sitting there you know when you do those strip drills all the time in practice and he's so close to scoring just it's almost like he's starting to release pressure off the ball my eye caught it 
and just boom, boom. I, hey, man, next time, man, hit that ball. You know, so I went from, well, I'm going to tackle this guy to when he just kind of was going to ease up on the ball a little bit as though he was going to raise it. Mm-hmm. My eye caught it and I just went, boom. And I fall right there on the two yard line. And with that kind of impact, you know, usually that ball to scoop through the end zone. The ball was just right there, right on just wow. to my left side. And I just rolled over on top of it. As I tell people, about two tons of Cleveland Browns on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if you could have stuck a mic up in that pile. Right. <laughs> you heard the language.